Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. You guys saw a sneak peek in the beginning of this video, so if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching the video. I did this for like a date night makeup look, or just some days when you want to look natural but also sexy. So I created this and I love it. It's pretty cute. So yeah, if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face. I will be using the Glassy Touch and Soul Pretty Fitter Glassy Skin Balm. Just gonna apply this all over my skin. I only apply a little bit because it is very glossy and I don't really like it too glossy. So for today's video, I'm gonna be using the Lexi Complete Sponge Set Bait Control Detail. Ooh. I got this in BoxyCharm and I'm so excited to use this. Also, this is cruelty free, so go Luxy. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I can never pronounce brands right. I don't know, like, I did a review video on SK2 skincare and the entire time I thought it was called Ski. So that was embarrassing, but whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my foundation. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. I feel like it's light and full coverage, and I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna apply this foundation all over my face. <gasps> I forgot the friggin' primer, you guys. Primer is for your uh, foundation to last longer. I'm just gonna take it off because I'm not really going on a date. I'm just doing this video for you guys. So if you are really going on a date, put on primer first, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. I feel like this is the hardest part of makeup. What part do you guys think is the hardest? I believe this is the hardest because it's like, you have to make sure everything is blended because you don't want to look stupid with like foundation marks. I'm gonna apply some on my neck too. Cause you know, ladies, you gotta do that. You gotta apply it on your neck. You can't just leave it. And have your neck be a different color than your face. It just, it just don't work, boo. I don't even take it down too much, just a little bit. Okay, once all the foundation is blended very well, I'm gonna move on to the Pretty Vulgar Concealer. So I got this concealer also in BoxyCharm. So I contour under my eyes, on my nose, chin, a little bit around my mouth, and then middle. I'm gonna blend. I freaking love makeup, guys. It just makes me feel so beautiful. I mean, I believe I'm beautiful even without makeup, but makeup is like, dang, girl, look at you. Look good. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to my brows. Let me get those down because my face never looks right unless I have my brows down. All right, for my brows, I'm gonna be using the Brow Gal Convertible Brow 2 palette. First, I'm gonna be using the darkest shade. Just take some of that. And I'm gonna outline my brows. Just my usual brow routine. Fill them in. Brush it out, blend, 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 blend. And then for the front of my brows, I'm gonna use the lighter two shades. So wipe the excess off your brush from this shade because you don't want it to be too dark. And I'm just gonna mix these two. And I'm gonna fill in the front by just doing like long strides like this, making it look like hair. I don't have my brow gel, but if you guys have it, go ahead and put that on. I'm too lazy to get up and get it. Now I'm going to use some of the concealer again and just conceal below and above my brows. I'm going to use a little luxy blending. Perfecto. I'm gonna moisturize my lip. I'm gonna be using the 
Ultra Repair Lip Therapy by Fab First Aid Beauty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. I'm gonna be using the Naked Skin Shapeshifter Urban Decay Palette for this contour. So this palette has like some dry contours and also like wet contours. So for this look, hmm, for date night, how would I wanna contour my face for date night? Very, very natural, you know? Just natural, really This is how I look, <laughs> natural, baby. So I'm gonna go with a dry side and what I'm gonna do is, I forgot my freaking brush. Forgot my contour brush, I gotta go get it. And I'll get my brow gel too. Oh, I'm so lazy and no one to Okay, I gotta stop filming for a little bit, guys. I am back! Not that you guys noticed, but I'm gonna be using the NYX Control Freak to set my brows. So I'm just gonna put that gel on them and they are set okay now i found my contour brush so i use the luxie 512 small contouring brush this is not sponsored by luxie by the way it's just their products are coming up today so i'm gonna take the naked skin urban decay palette the shapeshifter palette and i'm gonna very lightly mix these two make sure you kick off that excess and I'm gonna apply some on my forehead in circular motion okay I'm gonna put on my headband don't judge me don't you dare judge me <laughs> okay take some more apply it oh that's a lot, it's okay. It's okay. Just apply it under your cheekbones, under your jawline. Blend it in very nicely, as much as you can. I'm gonna take this blender and I'm gonna blend, 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 blend. Just contour and shape with three. Okay, now I contour my nose like this. I'm not even gonna tap in to that anymore. I'm just gonna take whatever is on my brush and just go around my nose. Just around it like this. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend all of this. Still looking natural. I don't know why I keep saying not natural like natural <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna move on to my blush I'm gonna be using the cover FX perfecter face palette and I'm gonna be using a brush the blush not the brush with my blush brush <laughs> that was a lot I just like dipped in it three times that's not too much I just apply it lightly on your cheeks <laughs> guys i want to get to know you all so in the comments below comment which country you're from i'm from india but i live in the united states after applying my blush i'm gonna blend that just blend it just blend it because you know we're going for a very very natural so I'm pretending going on a date with my fiance and I just want him to only notice me and only me. Not even the food, just notice me. <laughs> I just want you guys to look so beautiful and pretty, look adorable and sexy at the same time. Yeah. Now for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Cover FX Palette's Har Harlarer Highlighter in Starlight. I am gonna use this thin thin fan brush. I am gonna highlight right on my cheekbone. Oh yeah. I'm gonna apply some highlighter on the tip of my nose, a little down my nose, above my lips, my cupid's bow, take a tiny brush any brush and dip it in the highlighter and highlight right under 
my brows under the arch. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my eye makeup. I will be using the Morphe 35F Fall Into Frost Palette. So this is how it looks, my ring light. It's a very nude palette. It has like every color you need. I am gonna start off with a very, very, very fluffy brush. I'm gonna zoom you guys into my eyes. So from this palette, I'm gonna be taking these two shades and blending them together. Knock off the excess and apply this all over my lid in circular motion. I still have glue on my eyes from like eyelash glue. I hate when that happens. Don't you guys find that annoying? Like, can't you see right here? I'm gonna apply one more time the same eyeshadows the same way on my lid. Just circular motion in the crease and on the lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna take just a simple brush like this and I'm gonna dip it in this shade over here. This is like a pretty much brown shade. Put this right under my eyes. Bring it up a little bit, mix it into the crease, into the V of the eye, not the crease. Now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and blend it out so it looks neat. I'm going to take a sharp brush like this. I'm going to take this one right above the black. I'm going to apply this very close to my eyelashes right on the top like an eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to need something a little bit darker than that so I'm going to use a shade like this. Probably going to blend these two. And I'm gonna blend this out into the eye. Oh, I hate it when the makeup starts falling on your freaking. Okay, I'm gonna have to do my under eye makeup again. Now I'm gonna take this Buffy brush again and I'm gonna blend that out. I'm going back in with the super fluffy brush and blending all this out again. Mascara, I'm gonna be using the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. Look at the difference before and kind of before and after. Okay guys, I had to go get a snack. Doesn't this look delicious? This is the most easiest snack to make, literally. Just get yogurt, put in some honey oats and blueberries. And it's the healthiest, yummiest snack ever. Okay, so for my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. And I'm going to apply this lipstick I got in BoxyCharm. A beautiful red color. Okay, now I'm gonna take a very small pointing brush like this and go into the Cover FX Face Perfector palette and take this brightener in the middle. I'm just gonna put it lightly near my teardrop. So I'm gonna finish this makeup look off by spraying with the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray. And I'm going to take the blending brush and I'm going to blend all of this out. Girl, you are ready. You are ready to own that day. You're ready to own that attention you're going to get. You're going to own that food and you're going to eat it up. And your man going to pay for it. <laughs> Just kidding. 
can pay for it yourself boss lady whatever thank you so much for watching guys i just put my hair in a better ponytail and i'm gonna end this look right here so if you guys like this then go ahead and leave a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel here is my instagram handle i will be giving away a bunch of makeup very very soon so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and follow my instagram i also post a bunch of fashion outfits and makeup looks I recently started a series called Endangered where I'm doing makeup looks related to animals that are going extinct so I can spread awareness about the beautiful species that our world is very close to losing to extinction. So if that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and support my Instagram. But anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye! I'm trying to mess my lipstick up.